The new leaders in the TNT Super League are the students of UTT who made the trip to Guayaguayari and defeated the home team 4-2 thanks to a Keyshawn Carter double. Ruskin Mark says the win takes UTT to a maximum six points while police got their first win to climb to sixth on the table after edging RSSR 3-2 at the Larry Gomes Stadium. While UTT were knocking off Guayaguayari in Guaya, over at the Larry Gomes Stadium, police were seeking their first win. They got the ideal start when, after just four minutes, defender Karen Lawrence hit through his own net. The lawman made it 2-0 on nine minutes when Isaiah Price spliced his shot well away from the keeper. RSSR would spring to life and carved out a couple good looks, but failed to take any of them. It was a recurring theme as they occupied great space in and among the police defense. The low man went further ahead though on 28 minutes when Jesse Joseph showed his range with this beauty. But RSSR responded like they always do with a Corey Isaac effort making it 3-1 to in the 35th. They would however spur numerous chances to cut further into that lead and by the half they were kicking themselves for not being closer than 3-1. to The missing syndrome continued for police as well, as they really should have added to their lead here. Instead, RSSR kept up the pressure and carved open the police defense time and again, but nothing to show for it. That's until three minutes into added on time, when Hakeem Bolston finished in style to make it 3-2. Unfortunately for them, time ran out on them, and it ended 3-2 to the lawmen who got their first win of the new campaign after an earlier loss. And in the secondary school's football league Premier Division, Karapi Chaima hosted Sawan North, hoping to keep in touch with the front runners. Both teams wasted chances and neither could hit the back of the net on the day. It was the story of this one which somehow ended goalless, which ironically was possibly the best result for both camps. Ruskin Mark, TVT Sports.